everyone, this is Robin and welcome to MyPinkStamper.com. Today I am going to be spotlighting and showcasing our exclusive bundle that's only available in the month of May called Everything is Rosy, um, product bundle or bundle spotlight, whatever it's called, I'll have it on the screen for you guys. I'm going to really quickly run through what you get in this exclusive bundle and then I'm going to make a totally different project just using the stamp set and the thinlets with different ink pads and everything just to kind of give you a variety to show you other options you can do when you get this bundle. For those of you who do order this bundle during the first two weeks of May, you do get an exclusive online class video from me that I will email to you after. All of the information is on my website, mypinkstamper.com. Okay, so this is what you get when you order the exclusive bundle while supplies last, and it still is available as of today, which is May 6th, 2019. So they do still have some left in their inventory, which I don't know how long, much longer it will last. You get the photopolymer stamp set, Everything is Rosy. You get the Everything is Rosy Thinlit Dye. You get this exclusive rose gold. We all love rose gold. Um, our shimmer paint. And then you also get, my favorite part actually out of the whole entire suite is this ruched ribbon, this melon mambo ruched ribbon because melon mambo is probably my all time favorite Stampin' Up color. You also get this exclusive, it's navy and rose gold ribbon. Get a whole roll of that. You get these fun, copper embellishments that you add and then you just peel off the top part so they're nice and shiny when you are ready for them to be. You also get these pop, these cutouts. These die cuts are already ready to go. Kind of like when you order our paper pumpkin, sometimes we have these in the paper pumpkin. You get some stickers with the rose gold on them. I said that was copper, I think that was rose gold. Oh, I just dropped them, okay. It's all right, it's so pretty. This is so gorgeous. So this is a really large pack of six by six exclusive designer series paper that comes in this pack as well. So you can find more information in the description of this YouTube video, or if you're watching this from my blog, it'll be on there. I'm just gonna hop right in. I don't want this to be a super long video. So I'm gonna hop in and show you what we're going to be making today instead <laughs> using the stamp set and the thinlet set that I put away on accident. Oops. Okay, we're using Everything is Rosy exclusive stamp set and thinlet set. You cannot purchase these on their own. They're only available in the product suite. Okay, so I'm using a lot of ink colors today. I have these stocked up. These are a lot of staples that uh, if you've been using Stampin' Up! for a bit, you probably own most of these colors. These are all from the Brights collection. The only couple that are new in the last um, year and a half or a little over a year are the Granny Apple Green and the Gorgeous Grape. But we have the other ones have been with us for quite a bit. And then you'll need a basic or a black. I'm using the Memento Tuxedo Black. You need a black ink pad. So let's go ahead and hop right in with our stamping. I need a background paper. And this is going to be a fun and bright card because it has been super rainy here in Utah. We thought it was going to be almost summerish weather and then it got really cold and we have the rain again so i needed some sunshine in my life so i thought i'd make a nice and bright card so i'm going to be using this stamp from the stamp set i'm using this one as well and then i'm using this one i'm going to use this for kind of like my stem and then i'm using this one for background and then i'm using the congratulations stamp you really can use any stamp you want for this. We'll go ahead and start with our background. This is a piece of our Granny Apple Green. This is cut three and three quarters by five inches. And I'm going to pull out our Granny Apple Green ink pad. And I'm just going to, with that large leaf, I'm going to be making the background. Now it's important that you do stamp off and have a background piece because it's it makes it flow better. Otherwise, it feels like it's trapped in a box. And if you've never tried stamping before, it's very therapeutic, it's super fun. This is a beginner card, anyone can do this. Really, any, everything I show here, anyone can do any of these projects. 
I'm gonna put them away as I'm, you should have seen as I was designing this card, there was just ink and ink pads everywhere. It was kind of messy. Now we're gonna take a little strip here of our Whisper White. This is cut at one and, let's see, one, two inches by five inches. And this is where you're going to need a way to clean your stamp. I use our Stampin' Scrub and Mist. I've been using these for 17, 18 years, maybe 19 years. I love the Stampin' Scrub and Mist. We also have our chamois that you can use, but I prefer this over the chamois 100%. I love this one so much. I'm going to start with our gorgeous grape ink pad, and I'm going to grab the flower that I showed you all, and I'm going to just stamp it right here, up kind of to the top, and then I'm just gonna clean it off. And I'm going to grab my next color, which is my Bermuda Bay. And I'm gonna ink this up, and I'm gonna have this down just a little bit. I'm gonna clean it off. And now I'm gonna grab our Melon Mambo. I had to include Melon Mambo in this card because Melon Mambo just makes me happy. And then I'm gonna kinda do the difference between those two. Put away my Melon Mambo. I'm gonna add my Gorgeous Grape one more time, but we're gonna make it a different color. So we're going to ink it up. I'm going to stamp it off once and then I'm going to stamp it on again so it's a lighter version of the purple over here. Okay, I think that's all I need my cleaner for right now. I can get it out of my way. That's all I need this color for. Now we are going to take our granny apple green and I'm going to take the little, cute little, I love this leaf, but I made it so it's kind of like flower stem. Look at how fun that is. So I'm having that like that. Okay, set that aside. Now, we are going to just add our, we'll go ahead and take our black ink pad. I'm using our Tuxedo Black Memento ink pad. I'm gonna use the congratulations. I'm just gonna stamp it across the bottom right. Now, I really love the fonts on this stamp set and there's some wonderful sayings on there that you can use. Okay, that's all I need the background paper for. Now I'm taking our Daffodil Delight and I'm gonna grab the Daffodil Delight cardstock. This is just a scrap. And I'm gonna grab the inside and we're gonna do four insides. I'm gonna space them a little bit. We're gonna be using the thinlets for these in just a second. Okay, I can set that aside. Make sure I Get all my, my hand all inky first because, you know, that's what we do. And I, of course, I don't have anything to wipe it on but my pants. Okay, all right. Now I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna pull out our Big Shot. I'm going to put these on here, the uh, frame or the paper on there. And I'm going to grab, let me open up the thin lips. And the ones I'm using are just these two right here. Now we're going to be cutting out all four of these. Now they don't have to really line up. I'm just kind of throwing them on top and I'm going to do this four times. So I will just do one on camera and I will do the other three and I'll be right back. Let's just show you really quick, pop it out. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I have all four of those done. Now I'm going to take, actually I grabbed the wrong die. I don't need one, the one this big. I need the next one down. I'm going to be using our vellum cardstock. And I had forgotten when I designed it, which one I used. So I'm gonna use that one there, stick this in there. And I'm going to be cutting this four times as well. So I'll just do it one time on camera and then I will be right back. All right, now it's time to put this card together. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my card base, which is Bermuda Bay. This is cut at five and a half by eight and a half inches. And I'm just going to fold it in half and I'm using my bone folder to get a nice tight crease. Next thing I'm going to do 
is take a piece of our Melon Mambo cardstock. This is cut at four by five and a quarter. I'm gonna go ahead and add some of our adhesive, our Snell adhesive to that. This gives me a nice border. And now I'm going to take a piece of our Granny Apple Green cardstock. This is cut at three and three quarters by five inches. And we're going to layer that on there. Now we'll go ahead and take this strip that we already stamped. I already gave you the dimensions and everything on this one when, when I showed it to you earlier. And this one I'm just going to have a little bit up from the bottom right here. Okay, now we're gonna do some fun stuff. Don't we love fun stuff? Let's grab some glue dots. These are our mini glue dots. And we're going to use these for the little flowers, so just put them on here. I just usually throw them on here or throw them on the floor, which I just did. All right, and I'm going to take these pieces of vellum and I'm gonna put one in the center of each of the vellums. Perfect. And I'm not really lining them up, as you can see, I'm just throwing them on there Now we're gonna turn these flowers over and I'm going to use our mini dimensionals. These are our Stampin' Dimensionals mini, just a smaller version of our regular size. So they're perfect for little small pieces you wanna pop up. Take the backs off. And I am going to just add these right here on my flower. So just a little fun touch of vellum and I think it turned out great. And this one's okay to hang over on the side. It kind of goes along with the flow. Now we're going to take some of our striped Bermuda Bay ribbon and I'm gonna throw the whole roll on the floor. It's gonna roll all the way across to my door. But that's okay, because I only need this much. And I will gather the rest later. I'm kind of a hot mess today. I have been, obviously if you can tell, I've been a little under the weather for the past few days. So I'm just, getting back into the groove of paper crafting and filming and, and I'm probably a little bit more hot, hot, med hot mess, I'm more of a hot mess than normal. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off. It's gonna be fun getting that ribbon all back on a roll, isn't it? Okay, so I have that cut at an angle. I'm going to grab my glue dots again. I love using glue dots for little bows and things like that. I'm just gonna add it to that flower right there. So now I have this card finished. I hope you enjoyed it. You can find all of the information directly below on this YouTube video or on my blog post. Everything you see can be ordered right now from my shopping page, mypinkstamper.stampinup.net. This exclusive bundle is only available while supplies last. If you like what you saw today, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already to receive more of my video tutorials. I hope you have a wonderful day. See you soon, bye-bye.